All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And we are going to, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, what, I actually have to look at the mails, huh? There, done. Um, we're going to uh, try to continue on in our career, as you know uh, from the last episode, uh, since the patch came out. Uh, my mods went haywire. And even though I replaced them, it refused to load the game, so I've had to go back to scratch after 20-some-odd episodes. Yeah. But I tried recording a second episode, and the game crashed. Lovely. So, we're going to try again. Now, we're stuck doing quick jobs for a while. Yeah, so be it. So, we're looking at price per distance here. And these two top, this one's pretty close. This is ventilation shaft, interesting. This just says equipment. You see, they're all fairly close. These top three are fairly close. So it's, do we want to run in the Scania? Uh, and it's the Scania Streamline, actually. So it's the, uh, the newer Scania. Uh, do we want the Majestic? Or do we want the Aveco? Well, all three are light loads. 8 tons, 15 tons, and 11 tons. Um, I think distance-wise, though, I'm going to stick with this one. I'm going to keep the video short today. Uh, I'm recording this late at night because, number one, I forgot, and number two, I haven't quite fell up, felt up to it. And tomorrow... Uh, I got a bit of a day. I got to take my wife to the doctor's, which is fine. You know, I want to. I, she actually even went to cancel her uh, appointments. She's worried about gas. I said, no, I have money. We'll go. And uh, I want to take her, so. All right. And we're good. Um, I'm probably not going to get the small mirror mod for a while. But... Um, I will look into getting one. And just right now, it just doesn't seem to be working. Um, but I can live with the larger mirror for now. All right, this worries me because this type of trailer, these trucks, always tend to get hung up. Roll out a little bit more. Apparently, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Oh, you want to let me go? Yeah. Where the... Did the dude go? Well, either way, to make sure I miss that car, I'm going up on the sidewalk. I probably didn't have to do that, but all things considered, I wanted to just to make sure that uh, uh, I didn't end up hitting the car because you know how the AI can be in this game we'll swing way wide probably not long after we get out of town I'm gonna do a, a resync for the voice although again my let's stop really short just because I usually try not to call attention to the fact I'm going to do that. It makes them a little less jarring, I guess. Because you tend to anticipate them. Right. Interesting, we actually get a better frame rate outside the truck. Oh, no lift axle in this version. But it's a light load. And we seem to have a pretty powerful engine, so this shouldn't be too bad at all. friend, I know you're alongside of me, but could you not? Because this is going to be a difficult corner. Uh, oh, we skirted it, but we made it. I'm actually going a little too high on the revs there, I think. That's how I go. And I listen to the revs, so I tend to shift 
um, higher up. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the frame rate. It should improve by now. Now that we're out of uh, town, and it's still staying a little bit low. But eh, what can you do? I'm not running anything else. I've shut everything else down as I usually do. Well, that's not 100% true, I suppose. I'd be careful on the speed. I mean, we are on a back road after all. So, now this is where it crashed. Yeah, it, it crashed early, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. Ooh, I was not paying attention to that. Took out that yield sign. Ah, well. As long as I don't get an accident, uh, some kind of moving violation or speeding, I'll be okay. A little bit of a hill climb, nothing major though. You know, I was actually wondering a while back where all my space on my hard drive, on my main hard drive, had gone. Because I had about 10 gigabytes left. I have a small solid state drive to run my OS system. So I boot up quickly and, you know, certain programs come up quickly that I uh, need. And recently it's gone down to like 5 gigabytes. I'm like, well, where did it all go? Yeah, it, it's actually the mods. For real, it's the mods from this game that are taking up... Um, a lot of the space because I actually deleted the uh, mod folder and moved all the mods and the mods are, are huge. They take up a lot of room and I was actually kind of surprised at how much room the mods took up. It was rather impressive, but eh, it's not too bad. This is not something I'm overly fond of seeing, but then again, in my head, I kind of get around it. Because, <clears throat> you know, when you're playing games like this, uh, you tend to make up your own things in your head and in your mind. So we've got two trailers that are exactly the same in front of us. If you can't see it right now, but the other trailer up front, the other truck, is this exact trailer back here. So I just put it as their moving a bunch of materials for the same company, you know, and they're convoying together, so to speak, even though convoys are illegal. Well, unless they're like military or something of that nature. I'd really like to get around these guys. These guys are hugely cramping my style, but road is just too busy. Just too busy to even think. And there's a lot of trucks up ahead as well anyway, so it's kind of not a lot of point. I've been wanting to put out a, a vlog video for a little bit because I got some things I want to talk about. And, um. I hopefully will soon. You know? I, I, I really, really want to. I've had some difficult situations come up. just like talk about them a little bit so that you know like 
as I told you, one of the reasons I haven't played much this week is because um, Euro Truck just wouldn't work. Now, obviously, it would be easy enough for me to fix it. Well, it wasn't easy, but I still could have fixed it, but I didn't. And there is a reason for that, and that's the main reason why I didn't upload for a while. And uh, I'd like to explain that and explain why there may be times when I don't... Uh, I don't see that happening, at least for a long time, but, you know, anything could happen at any given point in time. Uh, given the situation and you know I just want to explain what's going on but I don't want to do it in, in, in game you know I'd rather do it in a vlog so that's what I'm gonna work on doing eventually it's how I always am yeah eventually eventually I'll get to it eventually I'll do it what you guys couldn't turn for me thanks appreciate it You know, I wonder um, how much longer before American Truck Simulator comes out. I know that uh, guys uh, that make Euro Truck here are working really hard on it. Um, <clears throat> the pictures that have come out from it and whatnot look absolutely fabulous. Truly amazing. And, um, I'm just really looking forward to it, but I really hope they have some cab over trucks, you know. That's really what I'd like to see, some cab over trucks. I don't want all nose trucks. And somebody wrote a comment on uh, one of my videos. And there's nothing wrong with the comment that was made. So don't think that I'm like trying to, you know, tear this person up or anything. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Everyone has reasons for the things that they say. And there's nothing wrong with that. So but somebody made a comment on one of my videos that um, it's either going to rain or it's getting dark. I'd say it's getting dark. We should probably. Oh yeah, it's raining. Alright, that's fine. Lights and windshield wipers, we're all good. But, um... You know, they talked about why that there's, you know, n not very many cab overs in America. It's because cab overs were dangerous. They weren't comfortable. You know, you'd, you'd go over a bump and it would, you know, really be difficult and hard and and all things like that and you know I can understand that at one point you know that probably was true but in today's world with today's technology it's not true anymore you know in today's world in today's technology trucks are as comfortable and as easy to drive basically I'm not talking about towing a trailer and maneuvering I'm talking about just the truck itself you know basically as easy to drive as a lot of cars you know there are a lot of trucks out now out there now that are automatic from what I understand you know and They're very comfortable, you know. They have amazing suspension, steering control, uh, all that. If, if, if you've watched all the promotional things that Volvo did for their new uh, steering that they've put in their trucks, and Scania has done stuff for their steering and for their throttle control, and, and all kinds of things. You know, trucks are at at the peak of technology in terms of road vehicles and they have to be and 
the thing that kind of proves that cab overs are really good trucks nowadays and, and are really viable is the fact that, well, we're staring at the proof right now. Euro Truck Simulator. European trucks. They're predominantly cab over trucks. You know, there are, you know, by, by and far more cab over trucks than nosed in Europe as far as I know. And many other places in the world. And I still think that cab overs are better trucks than nose for a lot of reasons. Number one, maneuverability. You don't have to deal with the wheels being way out in front of you. Um, you know, with the flat nose, uh, you can get tighter corners out of these trucks. Um, you know, it's easier to judge if you're going to hit something or not. Especially with the front mirrors, you know, you don't have all that truck out there in front of you. Visibility, you know, you don't have that big nose that blocks out a lot of your vision. That's not to say that there's not faults and problems. And I know a lot of people out there prefer nose trucks. And hey, that's fine. I'm not here to say, you know, to knock you down. Uh, I just think cab overs are better. And I'm going up the hill. It's not a heavy trailer, so it should be fine. Yeah, we're all good. But, you know, just it's just the way I feel. You know, better visibility, better maneuverability, easier to judge. Um, maybe not as aerodynamic, I suppose, could be a fault, because you, you're basically driving... Uh, something that the, the, the equivalent of a mobile billboard up front but um, I don't know I just I just prefer them I just prefer cab overs like out of all the American mod trucks that have come out the K100 still remains my favorite um, you know nice cab over truck um, you know all the European trucks I love them you know, Scania is probably my favorite overall truck. Uh, I love the Renault Magnum because of its unique look. Um, just something about that truck is just completely outstanding uh, in terms of how it looks compared to every other truck uh, on the road. You know, in the not on the road, but in the game. Um, if, if you just look, a lot of the trucks, you know, you know, they kind of fairly similar. Um, each is different and each is unique but none really in terms of visual stand out from the other ones that's not true with the Renault Magnum the Renault Magnum is whoa wow I lost traction there for whatever reason maybe I took that corner too hard and hook the trailer on the inside um, either way we managed to control it and, and rescue it so it's all good oh yeah the Renault Magnum uh, one of my favorites in terms of uh, really well functioning balanced truck uh, you know hard to overturn you know big wide stance big wide truck you know when in America when you think of a, of a tough truck or at least uh, you used to have to think of that um, you know, you'd think about uh, Mac I mean, when you ask you know somebody especially a kid name a you know name a big truck oh Mac truck that's usually what you would think and when you when you think of a big solid truck, you know a truck, you know, just kind of screams durability just by its name and appearance. In your in the European trucks, that would be man, you know, man trucks definitely. Uh, but the DAFs, the new DAF Euro Six is actually really nice. I'm not very fond of the DAF truck itself, but the DAF Euro Six. 
I actually like it. You know, we got to drive it last episode, and it's actually really, really good. I was really impressed by it. Are you going to let me go? Thank you. Huh. I must not have air horns. I don't know if I'm going to attempt to back this trailer in. I really should. I mean, i got to start doing it at some point. Because this is just one of those really uh, difficult ones to back in. Because you got this extra long trailer in this very, very narrow area. But we'll do what we can. didn't help that I set up a really bad approach. But I might be able to pull it off. Not this back end, but another back end. I might be able to pull it off. You know, if we can... I don't know if I can actually do this without screwing it up, but... We'll make an attempt at it. Come on. Oh, we got it. There we go. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Sadly, we didn't level up still, but... C'est la vie. So, that is actually going to be me done for this episode, folks. I just want to check the bank real quick. Um, yeah, we, we can't get the $400,000 loan, which um, is fine. Um, like I said, I want to check some stuff out before I buy my own truck anyways. So, um, I said short episode. Why don't we take a look and see what maybe we're going to take on the next run. Um, everything paying about the same down the line from 428 to 426. Uh, yeah, still 426, all of those. I mean, we get quite a few options here before the price starts dropping off, but... Uh, so let's see, we got concrete pipes, concrete pipes, expanded, expanded clay, whatever that is, <laughs> uh, wire, batteries, I did unlock cargo, didn't I? Uh, that looks kind of fun right there. Um. Just because it's something, I don't know, dairy products, batteries, paint, batteries, uh, car accessories, planks. I don't know. I don't know, maybe we'll take the Aveco. There's another uh, Euro 6 here. We could uh, take that out for another spin and you do that expanded clay stuff. That could work. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the DAF a lot. Uh... Of course, we get the old uh, Scania Streamline here. Um, Volvo, and looks like a couple of Echoes. Not sure. You know, this this is not uh, an easy choice for me. I may just um, choose one up randomly, but yeah. Oh, no, I unlocked Long Distance. That was actually kind of foolish for me. I should have put it into high value. Um but I, w I wasn't paying attention. It's natural for me to go one, 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 and then from there on. Uh, but it's okay. Next run, maybe the run after, we'll have high value unlocked. But anyways, I've talked long enough. Uh, keep watch out for that uh, vlog to come along at some point. But uh, other than that, this will be one big bugger. Signing out, Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'll catch you next time.